so in today's video I'm gonna be talking about having a YouTube channel growing that channel into a successful channel so I'm gonna give you guys some tips and just some advice that I've learned and I've been doing YouTube for four years now and consistently about three years so I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys what I've learned throughout my time on YouTube and just things that I wish I knew before I started so I'm gonna be starting with like when you have your channel at the beginning some tips and advice that I have for you and then in the long haul and I'll have some timestamps on the screen right now to show with you guys so you can just skip ahead if you're not interested at the beginning stage and more like in the full-time stage so yeah you can skip ahead if you'd like so let's start with being a beginning youtuber so my first tip is start sooner rather than later YouTube is getting so saturated with YouTubers, so many people have YouTube channels nowadays so I just recommend starting sooner rather than later or you're gonna get overshadowed very quickly. Something that goes with that is bringing you more into your videos because if you're not doing something unique nowadays you're gonna get overshadowed very quickly with other people because lately if you're not doing something extravagant on YouTube you're not gonna be that successful because there are so many different types of channels nowadays and uh, like four years ago when I started that was not the case there were just a few people making videos and enjoying them but nowadays everyone's a youtuber and everyone is trying to grow their channel so you have to bring you into your videos to make them unique otherwise you're just gonna be like everyone else and it's not something that people are gonna want to watch because they can just watch someone else that already has maybe like a big channel so I recommend just being more unique with you because you are unique in your own way so that's another thing that I think is very important since YouTube has grown so tremendously in the amount of YouTubers that there are so that's something that I think is very important to keep in mind. Another thing I want to emphasize a lot is YouTube is a learning process because I've seen so many people start their YouTube channels and they get so frustrated because they don't know how to do certain things such as editing thumbnails um, just all of those things they don't know how to do that and then they get so frustrated but we all started there I mean I my first video is so private right now but it was terrible but I mean I learned through that I've learned how to edit more I've learned how to film and that all in the process of four years and I'm actually now kind of proud of the progress that I've made so just know it is a learning process you are going to get frustrated at the beginning but don't get too frustrated and just give up because in the long haul it's going to be so much fun just to learn new things and it's going to get you further so just keep in mind it is a learning process you're not going to know how to do everything off the bat another thing i want to tell you is that you are going to get spam comments at the beginning of your channel so people like sub for sub things like that now obviously those can be super annoying but another thing i just want to maybe just tell you is just keep in mind why they're doing that and don't just immediately like think of the hate part of it because they are trying to grow their channel they are trying to get viewers because they are maybe working very hard on their videos but they don't really get noticed that well so i know they can be annoying the spam comments but just do keep in mind why they're doing it because even i know at the beginning i was desperate to get viewers so they're just trying to grow their channel just like everyone else so just do keep that in mind even though they can be annoying just know just think about more about why they're doing it and not just what they're doing. Next thing is, at the beginning, if you've maybe sent a business email to your channel, um, there are going to be some people contacting you saying they're from an agency or like a managing company, whatever, and they want to manage your channel, they want to be your managers, things like that, they, you want, they want you to sign with them. And don't do that, do not do that, especially when you're still small, if you've really grown, it might get necessary, you might need to get a manager, but right now it's not necessary at all and it's still easy to manage your own channel and those companies are more likely to probably take advantage of your channel since you are still so small. So just don't sign with anyone when you're still so small because it's super easy to manage your channel when you're still small. I don't even have a manager. My manager is my dad. He helps me with certain things and maybe with some sponsorship deals or emails, but I'm, it's, still, it's still doable without a manager, like a full-time manager. So I just want to say that. So don't get sucked 
sucked into the whole managing thing right away. It might get necessary later on, but right now it's not. Next thing is you have to start with the basics. And what I mean with that is at the beginning, I'm gonna be very realistic. It's probably not possible for most people to have an expensive camera, expensive computer, expensive editing comp equipment, software, whatever. Um, it's not gonna be possible. I know I started filming with my dad's Note 2. Then I went from that to my iPhone 6. Sometimes I filmed on an old Huawei phone. I mean, that just happens. You do start off a little lower and it's gonna be frustrating a little bit, but I just think rather film now on something bad and work up to something good than to not start at all and just wait till one day maybe you get a camera and then start YouTube because that's not something that's very realistic and phone cameras these days are amazing so you can create amazing content with just your phone so I really recommend just using what you have with the basics. Computers come with default editing programs and quick tip, the, one of the best free editing programs for PC and Mac is DaVinci Resolve. It's a little difficult to get to know and whatever but I really recommend it. if you're looking for a free program DaVinci Resolve is very great for what it gives so you can go check that out and like iPhones have iMovie on them um, there are a bunch of editing programs on Android so you're not totally at a loss at the beginning because there are so many free things out there that you can use and like I said your phone camera if it's not your phone maybe your mom or dad's camera I don't think they'll mind so that's just my tip for you you're gonna need to start off with the basics, but you can grow from that. Another thing I wanna tell you is that you are talking to a person right now. You're not just sitting in front of a camera. I think that's something we often forget because we're just sitting in front of a camera, but you're actually talking to a person. You watching me, I'm talking to you right now, not just a, my camera that's sitting right in front of me. So that's just something I think you need to keep in the back of your mind. Um, that just makes it a little more personal when you realize that. So. I am talking to you right now, just realize that you are a person, I know that, and that's something that I like to keep in mind. Now, next up, we're gonna be talking about the long haul of having a YouTube channel. So not just the beginning stages of the basics and whatever, I'm gonna be talking to you about how you're gonna stay motivated, how I've kind of learned, how, what I've kind of learned in the long haul of having YouTube, and things like that, so we're gonna be talking about that now. One of the most important things to remind yourself in the long haul is like just remind yourself why you started. I started because I loved making videos. I did made videos on my phone that no one ever saw. I never posted them. I just made them and then they just sat there on my camera roll. But um, that's why I started because I liked filming and I liked doing the things that I did. I like loom band videos so I made those and then my dad told, told me let's start, I have to start a YouTube channel like if I wanted to. And then I did so that's why I started because I like making videos. I never knew like all the other things about having a YouTube channel. So like getting money, things like that. I didn't know that, I just liked making videos. So that's something you have to remind yourself if you're feeling unmotivated. Just think back at the time why you started. If you do that and you realize the reason why you started wasn't the greatest intentions, maybe try to shift from that and find other joys that you have in YouTube and remind yourself of those. Next thing is the money from YouTube will come but not for a long time. I know you, they all say that, but it's just so crucial to know that the money is not gonna come eventually. I was monetized for a long time before I ever saw any money coming into my bank account, maybe like two years, maybe. Um, so just know the money will come, but you're gonna have to grow from there and it's just gonna take a long time. So the money is not gonna sustain you um, in the long haul for why you wanna make videos. So. Just know, because if you're just going for the money, you're going to get very frustrated very fast. So just know that. Next thing is you have to be careful when working with sponsorships. Because I've gotten some great sponsorships on my channel. One of the greater ones that I've had recently was working with Huawei. They sent me their phone and I was so happy because it felt like finally my channel was going somewhere because I'm working with a great company on a great phone and that was just amazing for me but there are so many other companies that contact you that you have to be more careful with because they might either take advantage of you 
or it's just something very schemey or something. So just be careful when doing sponsorships. Don't just take any sponsorship. I was first careful because I didn't think Huawei would contact me. So I was first careful about like, is this real? Is it just someone like scamming me? So just be careful, be on the lookout. But yeah, if you get a great opportunity, that's great as well. So just make sure your sponsorships are, are legit and you're getting something out of the sponsorships and not just giving them something you don't get anything in return. Another thing that most people don't really mention is with YouTube videos and things, you're gonna need to do some research. I mean, a lot of videos you can't just sit down and talk, but most of them you're gonna have to do some research, know what you're talking about and then give that to whoever is watching. So like, for example, I have to have done research about all these tips that I have think back at what I wanted to know and then I could give that to you. So that's something that's very important. You're gonna need to put in some work in order to get good views on a video because you put work in and you just then sit down blindly and just film a video. Now what goes hand in hand with the research is YouTube is a job and when you're like still in school it can be very difficult, I know, but when, if, when I say it's a job, I mean you're gonna have to maybe work weekends, you're gonna have to work late sometimes. Throughout the week you're maybe gonna have to do email planning, replying to comments. It is a basically full-time job and I just think that's very necessary to know. Especially if you're still in school and you have the busiest schedule, maybe YouTube isn't for you just because it is full time and I work mostly weekends and then throughout the week I do little things such as planning, emails, anything like that. So just keep that in mind when starting a YouTube channel as well. And in the long haul, if you're getting frustrated, it is a job, you signed up for a job. You're not gonna get a promotion in any type of job if you haven't put something into it, maybe more time, more money. You're not gonna get a promotion just by slacking. So. That's what you have to keep in mind, like if it's a job you're gonna have to put in to get higher and get promoted on YouTube, so maybe like more subscribers, whatever. So yeah, it's something you have to keep in mind. Next thing is hate is gonna happen. Um, that's something no one has ever denied on YouTube. I mean, there's so many drama going on on YouTube right now, so you know hate is gonna happen and maybe if you're still small it's not gonna happen too much, but there are gonna be like little drops of hate bombs and it's gonna happen but you just need to know that it doesn't happen all the time and there are so many positive feedbacks that it really cancels out the negative. It also depends on what kind of content you're creating. If you're gonna be constantly giving out negative content, you're gonna get a negative feedback. So that's just something that you maybe need to know and keep in mind that hate is gonna happen. It also just depends on what kind of day you're having. Sometimes I've gotten hate comments and it hasn't like affected me. And then something that's even not as bad, but I've had a bad day, it will just get to me that day. So it also depends on what kind of day you're having when you receive that comment. So just know that it's gonna happen, but it gets better, it gets easier to handle. I, my, my biggest tip for that is delete the comment. It doesn't help if you just keep it there. If you don't want people to see it, just delete it. You have the power to do that. It's just something that I think, I mean, obviously when you're bigger, you're not gonna have the time to delete every hate comment, but most of them, just delete them. It's not necessary to keep them there, just lying there brewing. So yeah, I would just recommend delete the comments if it really bothers you. Something that I wish I knew that I wanna share with you is that change is gonna happen probably. Not everyone is gonna have change, but I was one of those cases that my channel trends changed tremendously because I started at such a young age, I think I was like 13, you don't really know what your interests are gonna be when you're like 16 from when you're 13. So my interest trains a lot. Like I first off started making lifestyle, no wait, I started making Lumban videos. From there I made lifestyle videos. It really depended on what kind of content I was watching on YouTube back then. So first off, I watched a lot of Lumban, so I made Lumban videos and then I watched a lot of lifestyle videos. And then I combined tech videos with lifestyle videos, um, those two were together. And then later I just figured that my interests no longer were the lifestyle videos, they just kind of started fading out and then I just grew into a tech channel just because those were my interests but I didn't know that back then when I was 13, I thought I was gonna be making makeup videos or something. But now that I'm older I know that's not what I'm interested in, I'm like, like tech videos so 
that's just something you need to keep in mind. Don't feel disheartened when your content is changing. I know the scariest thing for me was I was scared of gonna lose all my viewers, my subscribers, my community because I've built up a community on like lifestyle videos. And when I just incorporated tech videos, I was gonna scare I was scared I was gonna lose everything. But actually I didn't. The people who didn't want to be there, they went away and new ones came with my type of content that I was creating. That was probably the scariest thing for my YouTube, um, was just changing the entire thing from lifestyle to tech. But I'm super glad I did it because in the long haul I'm so happy right now with the content I'm creating and the type of videos that I'm making now as opposed to th those times where I was constantly like, oh, I have to make a lifestyle video because it's my viewers. It's It wasn't fun for me. I didn't enjoy the content I was creating. And that's what's going to keep you motivated and keeping uploading consistently and just interacting with your viewers because you have the same interests. Well, last thing I wanted to share with you guys is the equipment I use just because some of you guys might be interested. Now, I don't have the most expensive equipment. I don't have any lighting equipment or things like that just because I don't have the finances to buy any of those things. I have my sister's Canon 750D that I'm filming on right now with the default lens that I got with it. I'm still like interested in buying a new lens but right now that just doesn't make sense to buy for my channel because there are other investments that I need to make before I can buy maybe a lens. So that's something that you might want to keep in mind. If there is a product that is going to boost your content on your video, not just the quality, that's something that you might want to keep in mind rather than buying like the most expensive camera, maybe make an investment in something that's going to grow your channel rather than just something that's going to make your videos look nice. The phone that I have is an iPhone XR. Um, that's my phone that I do most of my things on, replying to comments, things like that. And I have this because um, I need to have kind of the newest phone every year for my channel. That's the investment that I have to make in my channel every year just because this is the main purpose of my channel is tech videos, phone reviews, things like that. So this is an investment that I make every year to grow my channel. That's what I was talking about, like make sure you spend your money at the right place. I also have a 12 inch MacBook. Now that was like after three years of hoping and praying I'm gonna get one, I finally got a laptop. So that's what I was saying at the beginning, like you're gonna start off with the basics. I started off filming and editing on my phone and now I can edit on the laptop after three years of editing on my phone. So it does happen like eventually, but my channel has first grown before I could afford or even think about such a big investment such as a, a laptop. But yeah, that's the MacBook I work on. It's not the best for editing, but it is good enough for now um, until I can maybe afford a better editing computer. But for now, it works great. I also just have like a standard, very cheap tripod that we just bought in the store. But um, it can hold the, com the camera up like you can see. So it's not necessary for the most fancy equipment if you're making other investments in your channel that's maybe gonna grow it more. So I hope that some of these tips and advice helped you let me know in the comments what you thought if there's any more tips that you have for other youtubers i would love to hear from you so leave a comment down below letting me know if you have any tips thank you so much for clicking on this video um it really does help and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other youtube tips and tricks videos some like these or just some editing tutorials things like that you can go ahead and click on the playlist for that and click on the video to my previously uploaded video thank you guys so much be right and be proud of it bye